talk about uh, chest insertion, chest tube insertion, and chest drainage, okay? Um, and um, the uh, possibilities for uh, chest tube insertion might be a tray like this, which has a trocar. The trocar looks like this. The physician might ask for that. Uh, or there is another um, uh, arrow one for mainly for a pneumothorax, and uh, the physician might ask for that. It has a, kind of a flexible 14-gauge uh, uh, 14-gauge chest tube that would uh, be utilized for uh, mainly for a pneumothorax. This one, uh, if the doctor does not want to utilize the trocar, there are other chest tubes in uh, the, the Pixis uh, tower between A and B. And um, this is a size 28 uh, French uh, chest tube. And this is the largest one we have. And this one is a 36. So you can see that that is really big too. Okay. Um, this um, is the chest drainage. It's an atrium chest drainage that we utilize to suction on the wall. It's going to be continuous suction. It's going to be at at least negative, uh, like medium suction and negative 80 on the wall. Okay, 80 millimeters of mercury. Okay. So, um, but the the kicker is that you really need to. Look, observe this little, uh, there's a bellows in here, it's an orange little bellows in here, and if it's set at a negative 20, it, it, the bellows should go over this little arrow here, okay? It, so it's an orange bellows that should go over the arrow if it's set at a negative 20. So say I would like to um, change my negativity and I want the doctor orders uh, uh, 30 negative 30 so there is a little paddle here that I can change the negativity to uh, 30 okay um, so I just changed it to 30 those are doctor's orders you need to have a doctor's order for the suction okay um, so there's a couple more things to tell you about. There is a positive pressure valve here on the very top that you should never cover up, never cover that up. And there's also a negativity valve here. You never want to touch the negativity valve when uh, the patient's on just regular suction. The negativity valve is that it is to be utilized if you want to take the suction off. So say I push this negativity valve and I want to reduce the suction from 30 back to 20. Okay, so I push the negativity valve and then it takes the, the vacuum off of the chest and, uh, and you can back up. Okay. Then the doctor is going to want to um, dress it, and so um, there's you can use this this dressing. This uh, is called a, a drain sponge. You can just use this dry with um, this foam dressing, and uh, this is in uh, between A and B, and this is in the Pixis tower in the drawer. Um, so. You can, some of the doctors just use these two things, like Dr. Polster, Dr. Mandigar, just use those two things. So you have to ask the doctor how he wants this dressed, okay? Um, the other ways to dress it might be, uh, they might use the petroleum gauze, uh, which looks like this, that goes around the chest tube. Then you would do the drain sponge and then the foam tape, okay? Or you might, the doctor might want to use the earphone. Okay, a couple of rules. Um, you don't want to strip this because, you know, this is a negative 20 pressure. But if you strip this, you know, strip it like that, 
it's going to cause a bear trauma because it's going to give a negative pressure of like 400. You can uh, uh, do this to get clots out. You can squeeze it like that to get clots out, but you should not strip it. Okay. Um, you should always have this lower than the chest, this uh, drainage system lower than the chest. You should uh, always keep this on the bed and observe for any kinks, okay? If there is, um, uh, it should not have continuous bubbling, and it tells you here from a one to five how much bubbling there is, but there should never be continuous bubbling. So um, if there is continuous bubbling, then you can, um, you can clamp it up here close to the patient, or close to the patient, I guess, down here. Clamp it close to the patient, and um, if, you, if you clamp it and the bubbles go away, you know your patient is having a leak. Either the dressing is not tight enough, or perhaps the patient has a leak from his chest, another leak, and you need to tell the physician about that. Okay. Um, if you clamp it and, um, and the bubbling doesn't go away, then you know that you're, the problem might be in part of the tubing or in the system itself. If you clamp it and uh, you get down to here and it's still bubbling, you know that it, you need to change this out and put a, get a new uh, atrium.